Will and I are in the Lake District this week, so I thought this was a perfect opportunity to do a little reading vlog because this might be <laughs> our last chance to get out in the countryside um, for a while. And you know, trips to the countryside are few and far between at the moment. Um, so this is a holiday we were meant to have in April and obviously got pushed back, but it's worked out really nicely because we've had it over our anniversary. That was really lovely. Um, and now we're here for a second week, just like relaxing. Um, so it's a really nice cottage that we're in. It's just outside Grasmere village and it's really close to the village, but we feel quite cut off and to the point where we've been seeing red squirrels, like every, like every other day. And there's these two roe deer, which seem to come via the woods right behind our cottage and just like go round the house, um, once or twice a day. So that's been really beautiful. It's been like a scramble every time you see them to get the camera and like get a picture, but that is so, so cool. It's nice weather today, but I think it might be raining almost the rest of the week, which is, you know, a shame for walkers, but not such a shame if I'm going to be reading and at least we can put the fire on in the cottage or something and have like a, a couple of cosy days in. Um, we're going to try and go to Ambleside in a minute for breakfast and also get my boots fixed because my boots, like the sole is falling off my boot, which might, might mean a new boot which might not be very nice for my bank account, but um, we're gonna try and sort that out now. But I do have some books that I've brought with me, so I'll show them to you now. I've already started A Dance With Fate by Juliette Murillier, and this is the second book in the Warrior Bards series, and I started the Warrior Bards series like, I think earlier this year, I can't remember when I went and read the first one, but this series follows on from the Blackthorn and Grimm series, which um, <clears throat> I was reading. And yeah, it's just nice. It's like a perfect location to read this kind of fantasy novel. Um, this is about some young warriors, Levan in particular um, is the woman we're following and she's trying to become a warrior, but you know, trials and tribulations get in her way. Like this is opened with um, her friend Dow getting injured in combat with her. They were having like a combat fight. Um, and so now it's like, well, can he still be a warrior? Is he gonna be blind? Like, is he gonna be capable of doing anything? And I guess she's gonna to have to go back to his home place with him and maybe uncover some mysteries, that's what it sounds like. I've also been quite ambitious and brought two more books, um, which is Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed and Summer by Ali Smith. So I doubt I will read all three of these, really in less than a week that we've got left. I've been really out of reading for a while because we moved house and there's lots of stuff going on. Um, so having some time like put aside really just to read and relax um, is gonna be really valuable. Let me show you some of the views like round our cottage or at least like where we kind of are. This is like the forest just outside our bedroom which is so cool. I guess this is where the deer are living. If I take you downstairs, you can see a little bit more of the location. So here we are. Nice and secluded with trees all around us, but there's the road just there to get uh, down into Grasmere. So it's really, um, it's really beautiful. It's really relaxing. And then we've got a little living room in here, which is all dark, not really pre prepared for tours, but we've got um, a little fire in there. So that is what we will be firing up later, I am sure. slowish start getting out and walking today. We've actually had quite a good start in general because we went out for breakfast um, and I had to buy myself some new boots because my old ones, they need repairing and I don't think that's gonna get done very quickly. So I'm just kind of wearing my boots in now around the house, making sure they're okay before we go out. But I think they will be. We'll take the label off in a minute. Um, so we're just getting some sandwiches ready, getting prepared for our walk. It's so beautiful out there. It's really nice and bright. So. Um, I'm looking forward to this. We've picked a walk. Let me find it in the book for you. We found a walk which is just south of Keswick called Rothwaite, Wanton Lass and Stonethwaite. Little route that we're going to do. So the green bit is like climbing. I think that's a fell. And uh, about six miles and we climb up to Wotton Left Tarn. Which is up the top there. Let's see.
my camera cut out right near the end of the walk yesterday um, just as we were doing the descent but it was so beautiful the walk itself was like over one of the fells to a tarn and then backwards to another tarn over the fell um, and then we descended next to this I guess like a gill or like a waterfall almost really steep um, into some forest and that descent was just gorgeous like the sun was going down we had amazing views over the Borodale Valley um, so I think hopefully I managed to capture some of it um, but it's a shame that we uh, we lost battery right at the very end we were very exhausted um, at the end of that walk it said it was supposed to be six miles but it felt it felt quite difficult it's probably the hardest one we've done so far so well done us it's been raining outside all day today so we've just been nice and cozy i've been getting the fire on we've been doing some little jobs having a very slow morning um and yeah and now it's reading time i think i'm gonna continue with a dance with fate uh for the time being as i've started it and i'm feeling that kind of I don't know, something about this sort of, uh, this sort of fantasy just feels very appropriate for this setting um, in front of the fire. So I'm going to start that, but I also have summer down with me as well. Um, and I might give that a go a little bit later this afternoon. So basically I'm already almost a quarter of the way through summer. Um, once I started it, I actually couldn't put it down. I am really loving it. I've left my bookmarks at home, so I'm using this. Um, and I don't really know how to talk about it so far. It's just that typical Ali Smith seasonal quartet thing where she's dealing with so many different themes and ideas. It's almost impossible to like explain it as part of a plot, but we've got at the moment a uh, girl, Sasha, I guess teenager, young adult, who's got a younger teenage brother, and she's having discussions with her mum about all kinds of different things. Her brother's very, very brilliant, but also spouting some very interesting ideas, kind of trying to cause trouble, and we've got just <sighs> so many different ideas about the environment. Um, there's kind of beginnings of the pandemic in there, um, oh my goodness, all kinds of things, but like what's happening in American politics, what's happening in UK politics. I think it's gonna be like a very good read. I think I'm gonna love it the same way as I love the other three books, but I think it's also like, <laughs> I was finding it quite stressful. I was like, wow, the world is in such a scary place right now. But um, yeah, absolutely loving it. The weather has cleared up today, so we're gonna go on a walk. Hey, um, like reasonably high, it's like a fairly steep walk um, up, it's not up a mountain, but up reasonably high to a nice tarn again, and then a walk down through the forest, and it's not far away from where we're staying, so we can just walk, to, we can walk to the walk. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Now I'm just like gonna make our sandwiches, getting ready to go. It's a funny mix of being active and relaxing on this holiday, because it's like half past 10 already. We've had quite a slow, easy morning, even though we're gonna go out and get a, and do a walk. Um, and that's good, because we need to relax, definitely. But also that makes you feel like you've not done anything. We keep having sort of crises where we're like, oh, we've not achieved anything today. We've not, we've not been productive enough. We've just been sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> um, so I think doing a walk, getting us out, getting our hearts pumping a bit, I'll do some good. I'll have to have it, some sacks and tuna tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> no, we just to the you make a oh, you? Sorry. Sure. It's a bit drizzlier than what we'd hoped, so I'm hoping it's gonna clear up a bit. It said it was gonna be fairly dry today. But I'd like it to be quite dry when we get to the top of the tarn so you can see all the views of the
got some clouds over there, but I'm hoping near the top we've got some clear skies. caught in a shower and I got all done up. Will did me all up with my hood and everything like a little Russian soldier and now the sun's come out again. Ah. We had all the weather going up, um, and then we did get caught in the rain on the way, way back down. It was really nice, really varied, lots of uh, huffing and puffing up the steep bit at the beginning, and then quite a relaxed walk through the woods on the way back down. We just um, went and got some food after, well, we had um, some cakes and, uh, and tea, and then we went and bought some meals for, for this evening, so now we're just chilling. Deciding, we're deciding on a film to watch. We also bought an OS map so that we can, we might do another walk tomorrow because I think it's gonna be good weather again and we might just like work out where we go because there's quite a lot of fells near our cottage and we haven't actually uh, walked, um, quite, walked many of them actually so that's what we're gonna try and do tomorrow I think. Um, probably another another quite chill day. Um, I have to get some reading done at some point. We actually haven't read very much have we on this holiday yet? So. Oh my goodness. That looks horrendous. Is, Let's watch it. A pair of pharmaceutical companies. No, thank you. Why don't we watch Mamma Mia? Definitely not. last walk today because tomorrow it's going to be really rainy and then the next day we're going home so this is our last chance to get out it's actually well it's a bit chilly but I'm sure it'll be fine we're taking a bit of a risk because we just looked at our map that we bought yesterday and have worked out a route that we think we can do straight out of straight out of our door almost as a pro as opposed to like a pre-planned yeah ready ready made yeah route. like when you have a book and they tell you where to go so I sort of just making up as we go along. We do have a map, um, but let's see. We're gonna try and climb, I think, up there. Is that where we're going? Yeah. A little, the top up there. Probably. That's our, that's our idea. Let's see what happens.
this is just step one. We have that being to go to now. But not too far, not too much further. Gotta get that shot of the sheep. <laughs> to get the deers a couple of times on camera which is so good like, I was so pleased with myself managing to catch them out the window but if one more red squirrel evades me honestly I the amount of footage I have on this camera of just trees where I've been too late like they're so quick they're really beautiful like darting right across like the little outside table we have there darting up the trees and the minute I get the camera on them they just like disappear so annoying but it's amazing to see them. I have been having a good read of A Dance With Fate. Um, I'm getting towards the halfway mark now and it's just lovely. It's great to read in this kind of setting. Um, it's making me laugh though because I don't know if anyone's read any Juliet Murillo before but she always seems to try apart from all the magic and the fairies and things like that she tries to make it quite realistic like as much as she can um, but to the point where I just feel like there's sometimes like too much explanation of stuff. So as I said before, Dow has been injured by Levin and so she has to go back to his house. Like that's in the blurb. I knew that was gonna happen, but there's this whole like chapter where they have a legal scenario and everyone brings their lawyers and they're going, well, he's been injured. What should we do about it? And I swear her books always have lawyers in. They always have people discussing like the legal situation and I just feel like, oh, it's fine. It <laughs> I, I know you're trying to make this believable but like I don't care. It does make me laugh, <laughs> that aspect of it. But then the other aspects of her writing make it believable in other ways which I really appreciate. So a lot of her characters have suffered with like past traumatic experiences and it really affects them now. Um, so Dal, for example, was subject to really quite serious um, mental and physical abuse in, in his family home. So he doesn't want to go back. Um, and I really like how that's that's handled. Um, they're back there now and they're just sort of finding their feet. I mean, this is what I mean, because she's trying to make it so believable. Like, we're so far through the book and they've only just got there. Um, whereas I feel like the main arc of the plot is supposed to be, oh, we're in the house together, solving a mystery. And I feel like we've just, we've just kind of started down that path, but it's fine. I love these characters. I just love this. I love this world and I love this kind of easy writing. So we're just taking it easy as this is our last day and it's raining outside as well. Um, so no more walks, um, just lots more reading. I'm going to pick up Summer now because I absolutely flew through that when I started it the other day um, and I'd like to get a little bit more of that read before we go. And then I think we're basically going out for dinner um, and that's it. Bye bye, bye Lake District. very last moments this morning just as he was packing up the car will caught a red squirrel on his phone it's running away but you know you can't really see that it's red and not gray but proof proof that we had them here we're just about to head off home so i'll end the vlog here i read quite a lot of summer yesterday and it continues to be quite difficult to discuss plot wise because those books aren't really about the plot they're about the subjects that the characters are discussing um but we've met some more characters who I think I remember from Winter. I think there's some characters from Winter who have kind of crossed over with this family that um, uh, we've met in summer and they're all going on a, on a road trip to Suffolk together. So that's going to be fun. Um, yeah, um, nothing else to say on it other than I'm loving just how current it is, all of the um, different like political issues that she's bringing, bringing to the fore and also how funny it is. I love how she writes her characters, especially how she writes kind of like silly mums. Um, there's like the mum and then Sasha and Robert and the mum is just so like, just going oh, trying to keep everything nice and just saying funny things that aren't really appropriate for the situation. Um, and I'm just, I'm just loving it. I'm like smiling all the way through my reading experience. So I will update you once I've finished it. Um, hope you enjoyed the rest of the vlog. It was very scenic rather than a reading vlog, but um, yeah, hopefully it's turned out well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.